Hello friends, hello neighbors, how are you? Thank you for joining me once again. JT here, and if you are new to the channel, I welcome you with open arms. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell, and also check out my Instagram at Moto Knives and Guns by JT. And I'm still doing the giveaway for the, for the lanyard. If you submit a picture of your knife to me on Instagram, like, share, and subscribe, I will put you in for a drawing for a custom lanyard to your knife. Welcome back. I've got some great news here. I'm really excited because, you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I, I, I look at Great Eastern Cutlery as one of the best knife, knife makers in the United States. However, I have a gripe with them. Yes, I always have a gripe with somebody, I understand. And that is, you can never get them. I've been trying to buy a GEC knife online as a consumer for the past 10 years, and I can't do it. Um, my first GEC knives were on the secondary market, and of course you have to pay you know, stupid prices for them. And um, it's just it's just something that if you don't stay on top of, you can't get. But I got lucky. I got lucky this time from DLT trading, and I was, I don't know how I did it, but I got to notify, and my credit card information was in there. Boom, I got one. However, to even take it up one more notch, I said to my, this is before I got this, I said, you know what? I'm going to go there, and I went to GEC in Pennsylvania, and I bought some knives, and I'm going to dispel some rumors right now. Rumor number one. They do not give tours anymore. That is the sad part. And rumor number two, you can buy hot off the presses knives there. Um, it was a rumor that you can only get the secondary knives, the uh, oops knives with the S stamp on it, but that's not true. You can, you can go there and get actual knives that are um, put aside for sale. Not a lot of them, but there's some. So let me show you what I picked up. Uh, Da, 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 da. Hold on, give me a second here. I dig out my bag. What did I do with it? Okay. So I picked up this acrylic. I think it, they call it the TD out or tied out. I don't know how to pronounce that. Look at that. In blue. So nice with a double, with a pen knife. And uh, this is not an S stamp, as you can see. It is just. A regular one but look at that look at that perfection in that blade it is just absolutely flawless it just looks like one piece of metal and it's just there's nothing nothing out there like it i got the sleeve for it so happy i was able to get that and let me show you this one was an s or a secondary one let me show you the difference so I forgot the name of this one. This is called the uh, number 47P123 Nat Natural Textured Micarta. But the other one that I showed you was called the Royal Blue Acrylic. But look at this. So I don't think, I think what happened here was they went a little bit too flat here. And they just stopped the presses there. Because this is supposed to be kind of finished and sanded. And they didn't... Um, this you don't you're not gonna pay full price for this. I think I paid like eighty bucks or something like that for this one, but it's still a GEC knife. It's just they didn't put the final finished touches on it. I think they did polish the spine on there, um, but you know what? They might have not done the complete polishing on these bolsters. But uh, I kind of like it like this. It's this is an unfinished product, but I love it. All right, so in here. You guys are going to witness an unboxing of the, again, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, the Titty Out or TD Out, Tight Out, number 87 English Jack with the Hummingbird Acrylic. And uh, you know what? You got to open it up. Got to open up a GEC knife with a GEC knife, of course. So I have not seen this yet. And I'm excited about this because this is my first internet bought. GEC knife. The other ones that I have, secondary market, and they were used. But this is it. This is hot off the presses. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Wait with that. And I got 
got so excited when I when I saw that it's in my it was in my mailbox. I mean in my cart. Hammer tested frozen forged 1095 carbon steel. This is the hummingbird acrylic. This is number 87. And again, you're seeing this for the first time. As I am myself. No button. No button. However, I did get a button with this one. Oh, where is it? It's in the bag somewhere. It's in the bag somewhere. Where's my button? Give me my button. There it is. Boom. There you go. And as you can see, I have proof here. I even have a shopping bag from UBC. What a cute little town that is. Um, they gave me some of these too. Can you guys tell me what this is? I think it's to open up like this, but I'm not sure. They gave me a bunch of these um, just because I had visited the place and I did get a tour. By the way, I have tons of pictures and I am going to make a video on that. I'm trying to, I'm going to do my best to get off of the uh, tabletop review and put an actual edited video together showing you guys a tour of the GEC factory. All right, here it is. For the first time, I am seeing it. And holy moly, I did not expect that. I did not expect that. Look at these colors and look at that badge. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm telling you, they never cease to amaze me. They never cease to amaze me. If there's any critique, I would say, I mean, this this pin looks a little bit um, in there a little bit too much. But uh, wow, that snap is just absolutely amazing. Titusville, Pennsylvania. What's that? I don't know what that is. What does that mean? I don't know. Wow. Just look at that. Yeah, I would say they, they countersunk that maybe a little bit. That half stop is just... They own the half stop. Look at that. Look at that pen knife. Hold on. I got a hanky for that. Whew. Seriously, very few knives do I get to handle that I say that it just, it kind of just takes my breath away a little bit. This is totally worth it. Man. Look at that. Just, it just pops. Hummingbird acrylic. Just absolutely gorgeous, man. I mean, that's my only critique is that this pin is a little bit, if you can see that, it's a little bit counter sunk there but you know when i visited this factory and everyone's in there doing stuff by hand and they're just regular people like you and me just there just all dirty and and, and their hands are all dirty they got smoot all over their faces and and it just smells like a dungeon in there but you know the work that comes out of there is just absolutely amazing um However, yes, they do not give tours anymore. Um, I did get kind of like a sort of a tour, kind of pointing, that kind of thing. And I spoke to some of the young ladies that actually put their hands on these knives. There's about 15 people from start to finish that actually put their hands on the knife. And it's just absolutely amazing how everyone has a different task there. Um, I met the lady... And spoke to her who actually put, puts the final, the final edges on these. And it was pretty funny because I said to her, uh, at what percent, what, what's the angle of your, of your grind? And you know what she said to me? She said, I have no idea. I do it by sight and by hand. And just she just freehand this thing, zip, zip on that honer. And then she tested it with the paper. And it was perfect. I looked at it and I'm like... It was just absolutely perfect. It's not a very aggressive grind, but it's just, uh, it was just, uh, it was, an, it's an absolute art the way they make their knives. And this is, this is just so cool. Let me compare these sizes here. So I'd say they're about the same size. Let's do a weight comparison here. 
allegedly this is about four and a half inches but let's see the weight on the hummingbird we're looking at 3.2 ounces on the hummingbird and let's see on this blue one 3.35 and just out of curiosity 2.50 and just look at that stamping i saw the way they make these also they have a machine that they kind of stamp it on there and um it's just absolutely cool how they do these just just it, it, it's a lost art manufacturing art you can hear my chickens in the background but wow just wow and i'm not going to complain about about that i mean i mean you know it's just absolutely gorgeous wow but i'm really happy with it i'm really happy with it i'm looking forward to editing that video and uh showing you guys my trip to gec yes chickens they um they asked me not to release the video until they mailed out the knives that i have in the video for some reason um so i'm going to honor that so it's i'm gonna they said that they're mailing them out within within a couple days so i'm gonna wait about a week and do that video but at least i just wanted to um show these guys these guys off to you just compare the badges general um great eastern cutlery let me tell you you guys you guys own the slip joint art you guys own it and i really do appreciate I really do appreciate the workmanship, the workmanship and the art that they put into these knives. So anyway, thanks very much for sharing this time with me. Again, like, subscribe, hit the bell, visit my Instagram, show me a picture, send me a picture of your knife. And if you're picked, I will make a lanyard just like one of these. Let's play with this guy. Um, anyway, thanks again. I appreciate you. Thanks very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.